Hello YouTube and welcome to the Turbo Series. It is Black Friday, one of the biggest events of the year if you're a spender. This is DH Games' love letter to spenders. They give us a ton of rewards and we are going to be suckling on the teat of reward today. We have so many things we can purchase with gems, so many things we can grab with contract starry gems, and actually going in on this event's not that bad. We'll end up with a full splendid copy of the new artifact, a load of orange chests, pink chests as well, celestial island resources, and for spending we will be getting ourselves these rewards as well, which give us more orange chests, stellar shards, and further to that, we'll even get prism starry gems. So I'll probably end up getting screwed over in the auction house with a conversion rate that's absolute doo-doo, unless DH Games changes their mind and blesses this account. Unlikely. But I should hit VIP 8 today, which is going to give us a lot of lovely rewards in the Black Friday event, and we'll be doing 2,000 heroic summon scrolls, so that'll be fun to see just how far we can go. But to do all that, I do need to spend money as I will be needing scrolls and I will be needing the Black Friday Obsidian points. So let's get this in. Folks, we're going to buy every single one of these top packages up here. We're going to convert our Starry Gems to get this stuff and we might as well get the other packages as well. But let's start with these. There you go, folks. We have ourselves all these packages bought. So let's go cash in our Starry Gems on this as well. So this is going to cost us quite a fair bit. But it is going to get us all these obsidian points and a load of treasure train tickets as well. So having done all of that, let's go see what that's done for my VIP level. <gasps> oh man, I'm so close. I have a solution. We're going to go into the Black Friday Carnival and we're going to buy these. This card is glorious and this package is insane value. Let's get both of them. And there you go, folks. It is absolutely bought and on the account. Fantastic. We are now VIP 8 just, which is so satisfying. We get ourselves this. It's a treasure train shard of the mythical puppy brooch. And we get a chest that contains light heroes. Very cool. They might even update this to have... Um, the, uh, the new guy in, so I might just hold that for a bit. Either way, that is glorious. Tons of rewards coming through here, and now we're going to go ahead and go to the Black Friday Carnival, where we can start to claim our rewards. We get some scrolls here, a skin chest, an imminent hero chest. We get a 10-star puppet. Very helpful. Get ourselves a chest. Does this contain the new artifact? Nope, but that's Elusive Mirror. We get an orange chest. We get this. This is the new artifact. Very, very cool. More orange chests, more artifacts, more stuff, just all the stuff. And now we're left needing 200 points remaining. And that will come from Heroic Summons. So that's going to be an insane time. So folks, let's go look at our summon scrolls right now. We have 2,700. Oh, oh man, that is a lot. Before we do that, though, I am going to go to the Black Friday Carnival, and we're going to start picking up the things that we want. So, I'm going to start with Heroic Summer Scrolls. We definitely want Profit Orbs. I am going to be needing the Orange Artifact Exclusive Fragment for this. Yeah, that will be useful. Artifact Essence is valuable on this account. That's insane value for cores. That's great for scrolls. This is a 9-star, so that's already really good. And we get resources as well for star spawns. Celestial Island resources from this, an artifact chest here, 24 cores of transcendence and 1,200 stellar shards. Not even 1,200, 1,200,000 stellar shards. That's 1.2 mil. So that's really nice. And yeah, hardly tapped my gem number there either because I got a ton of gems from this event anyway. And now we go to our contract stories. This is going to be interesting. Let's start at the top where we get a B+. Plus. Very nice. We get ourselves two skin chests for the Celestial Island. We got ourselves two B stones. We got ourselves these Transcendence chests. I don't think they're worth it, man. I'm going to leave that. We're going to get that B stone, though. And we're going to get the B minus. And 10 cores is pretty good. And so is 50 scrolls. So, yeah. Really, really nice. And don't save the stones. No, no. No, no, we, no, we are saving the stones for a gala, guys. We are saving them. Right, moving on, we need to go and open our scrolls. How's my bag space looking? It's not the best, it's not the worst. I will go see if we can quick upgrade to five star real fast. Okay, no we can't. So let's check the Abyss faction here. I think we had a lot of four stars in this. So yeah, we'll need some three stars here. 
to get this moving. So we'll get two in plus one. Uh, that's that's going to help, kind of. So let's go ahead and upgrade. There you go. That's Norma in. And it wants me to make a six star. Like, what faction can I build a six star in? Uh, does it matter? Do we even want to? I don't know. Uh, I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, five, four stars here. Hmm. Let's go ahead and pop some of these guys out. We'll pop out three time mages. And what that'll do is that'll let me go ahead and make a fortress hero. Excellent. Now, if we look at shadow, how many four stars have we got here? Only two. That's fine. Fortress we've just done. Abyss we've just done. So forest... That's also cleaned up. Okay, dark, that's nice. Light, that's also nice. So to make our backspace really tidy, we're going to go to the altar, destroy our one, twos, and threes. That's going to eliminate everything. And that's going to leave me with... Oh, that's low. Oh, look at that. Over 250 backspace. Beautiful. So folks, let's go ahead and begin our summons. So we're going to blast out 100 each time, and we're going to see how many 5 stars we can get. The goal for this is to get 65 stars so that we can get the most rewards from here. The summon spree. Every 5 star will get us a point, and different point levels will get us Cause of Transcendence. And we get bonus rewards as well. We're getting Spirit Bane Shards, Stellar Shards, and Spiritual Essence for all of this as well. And before we do that, I'm going to have to go ahead and claim my rewards for spending money this week. Oh my goodness gracious. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have to grab this. That's some Stellar Shards for us here. We're going to want Prism Starry Gems there. We should probably get ourselves a Sublimation Chest in this. And that is going to be more prism starry gems yep so let's claim all those rewards through to maximize what we've managed to get this week that is absolutely sexy either way it's summon time baby let's get some five stars here we go we want to see loads from this one that's a flora two that's a Gru. three that's a freya that's already an excellent start let's do another 100 here we go baby one is a sherlock is it just sherlock no come on give me someone else Ah, so let's go tidy up our heroes. What we'll do is we'll go to the creation circle. We'll quick upgrade to five star. Then we'll destroy our three stars and we'll rinse and repeat that over and over again with every summon. So let's blast these out. Here we go. How many five stars we get in this time? One. Two with a corpse demon. Three with a Valentino. Very good. Three five stars. Makes me happy. That's one, two, all oh, right. Three with a Rosa. We've already got Yom Tum there, so that's crazy. Four with a Faith Blade. Let's go. And what's our fifth one going to be? Will we get a fifth one? We better get a fifth one. No, but that's still really good. Fantastic. And that is going to be a ton of rewards for us. The Yom Tum there, the Faith Blade there, really, really fortunate. So we'll go ahead and upgrade that stuff. Let's go to the altar. Let's destroy these three stars and let's hop back in. Another 100. Come on. Big prize this time. Let's see it. That's a Rosa. That's an Emily. That's two already. Three with a Corpse Demon. Four and five. Fiona and Arania. Six, seven with another Yom Tom. <laughs> That's really good from 100. That's so lucky. That's a second early Yom. One Blood Blade there. That's two with Sigmund. Three with a Horus. Mate, that was really good. That was so, so nice. So let's go ahead. Quick upgrade to five star one more time really clean here alter the three stars you know the drill and let's get back to business here we go another 200 we get an ormus a dragon slayer a betty that's three straight off the rip four with a heart watcher i mean this is already good another 100 here we go one with a dominator Two with a barrier are we going to be above average again like two is what i deserve right now three with an ice blink that's still really, really good. <laughs> How many five stars have I managed to get so far? Let's go take a look. I'm on 28. In how many scrolls? Oh, I haven't even done a thousand yet. Oh, that's really good. So we'll upgrade to five star, tidy stuff up, hit the altar, slap in the three stars, and we send it back. Okay, am I getting nothing in this one? Is this my zero? Oh, I get a seer. Okay, cool. I'm still getting something. Oh, and an Edgar. Okay, still two five stars. For what seemed like an unlucky run, that's not bad. There's a Blood Blade. And there's a Demon Hunter. And another Yorm Tum. What's that, three of that guy now we've gotten? That's crazy, man. That's so lucky. So another 100. 
Can we get another early Yom Tom? That's a Sarja. That's great. We need to make it to E5. So every copy we get of her is brilliant. There's a Kamath. What the frick? That's six. I couldn't even see who that was. Just four or five stars just yeeted themselves in. That's Cruz, Arania, Margaret, and Berea. <laughs> That's six five stars, dude. And the hero list is full one more time. Oh my word, we're gonna have to start doing some spring cleaning. I think we're running out of room. Right, let's make this nine star Dragon Slayer then. So we put these three copies in there. We got our two six stars here. And now we need a bunch of food heroes. We've got one, two, three, four, five. And then we got... Oh, look at those molasses. I'm not gonna ignore those for now. We'll go with the Edgars. We've got a Starlight there, Rosas, and the Demon Hunters. And that's everything. That's a nine-star Dragon Slayer. That was super easy. And we'll make ourselves a nine-star Abyss Hero. Let's go with Barir. So we're going to go click on him, put in three copies here, and we put in our two six-stars, and then we got our 13 fodder heroes, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we'll go 10, 11, 12, and then Dant for 13. And that is a nine-star Barir. Absolutely Bonkers. Claim that stuff through. That's tidied up some of our room. We'll destroy our three stars and let's get back with the summons. Let's see what we get from this one. We're doing really well for these five stars. Okay, we get a penny. Okay, good. That's not Gustin. That's an Azrael. Either way, two five stars feels good. Another 100. Let's do this. Flora. That's one. Is it just one? There's no way it's just a flora. Please don't tell me it's just a flora. Two. Ha ha. Excellent. We get ourselves King Barton. Very, very nice. So at this point, we've done tons of stuff. Our rewards are absolutely bonkers. And I believe how many summons have we done? 1,300. So we've got 700 summons remaining. And in those 700 summons, we need to get ourselves 17 five-star heroes. I think that's completely doable. Let's go to the creation circle. Let's upgrade to five-star. Absolutely brilliant. And we'll alter away these three stars. And we will, of course, carry on. Let's do this thing. Let's get some more. We need a ton of five stars now. That's a Rosa. Excellent. That's just one, though. I would like more. Unless you want to give me a streak of no five stars and I get a really cool avatar. That would also be really, really neat. What do we get here? Oh, yo. This could be a streak. Oh, no. It's Tom Yum or whatever his name is. And a Bade. That's good. Two five stars. Let's go. And okay. A Unimax 3000. Very cool. Very, very cool. So we'll claim those rewards through. And of course, we'll go back into the creation circle, upgrade to the five star level. And of course, destroy the three stars and do more summons. This is a very quiet 100. Zero happens. Oh, wait, no, there's a Betty. I mean, that's a pretty cool hero to get. I'll take that indeed. Next batch, we get a, wow, a honor guard. Asmodel, that's a light hero. Very helpful. Anything else? Just those two. Oh, there's another Betty. There's a corpse demon. A lot of Bettys today. And an Ormus. That was quite a lot of five stars. That was one, two, three. What was that? Four? Five? Five. Nice. We got 300 left to do. Let's do this. Can we get some five stars? That's an Emily. That's an Amavor. Okay, cool. That's two five stars already. Three with the Lacium. Very nice. Another Amavor and a Dark Arthendor? Bro, I'm swimming in the darks. That's amazing. Feels good, man. Feels really good. Right, let's quick upgrade to five star then. Hit up the altar and we're going to see. I think I only have a hundred left. I think that's it. Literally 100 summons. And no. 59 out of 60. I need one more five star hero. Oh. Guys, and we're guaranteed a Yorm. Absolutely perfect. So if I get nothing else, Yorm Tum is coming at 50. There's a Dragon Slayer. There's a Yorm. There's a Walter. Perfect. Exactly 2,000 summons and just over 60 of our heroes. That, my friends, is how you do a summon challenge. Let's get this stuff in. We're going to get ourselves a sublimation chest. That's gorgeous. We'll get ourselves a new chest with the artifact in. That's really cool. We get ourselves probably... Ooh, what's better here? Spirit Vein, Divine Power Gems. So we'll get the Spirit Vein shards then. And then we'll grab ourselves the Black Friday frame. Cool. So let's give ourselves a nice pretty frame, shall we? And... That's going to look real good. We're going to use it 
And it, it kind of goes with Faith Blade. But maybe we need a better skin to match. So now we've done all our summons, we probably should go and have a look at the other rewards we can get on this account for this event. So we've done all the Black Friday stuff, right? We purchased all that. We've done all this stuff here to get the Black Friday frame. So I suppose it's now time to go and cash in our real rewards and open some of these chests. We've got these orange chests here, and I think I'm going to do every single one for the encapsulated memories. So we'll put all of them into this. That's 400 shards, which means I'll go to the treasure train now and we quick operation and we get those bad boys in. So for our VIP level, we get that brooch. We're on plus nine on the encapsulated memories, and that's really, really strong. That's going to take our treasure bonus to not that much higher, actually. It's only 974. And I think what we should do now, it's probably best I open the pinks to get more damage for the team. So I think we go with two of these, the recorder. We've already got two, which is two star. So two more takes it to three star. That's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and do exactly that. That's going to be more damage dealt for us. So yeah, seems like the best plan. So we're going to go back into the treasure train and get another upgrade level on this as well. There you go. Select all. That's going to be three star. And now we definitely should be at a million. Oh, nine, nine, three. Oh, so close. So if we go along, guys, you'll see for our festival stuff, we've got a one-star bunny that gives four-star all damage dealt. We've got 11.3% all damage dealt coming from the upgraded camera, which is very, very nice. And we've hit 2,500 points for the festival items. Yeah, we have. So that's 10% extra attack and 15% extra HP. So that's going to give us more scaling as well, which is really, really nice for our heroes. So yeah, we're in a really, really good spot, which is Great. So what does that do to Eloise? Where is she at now? She's 2.45 million on attack. That's really nice. So yeah, happy with that. Now we need to go and sort out our food. We have a bunch of food to go ahead and cash in. We've also got cause of origin that we've managed to pick up this week. We got 106. That's a lot. That's, 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 that's freaking huge, bro. Wow. Okay. Fate? No! No, we're going in guidance, you bozos. Stop. We this is sensible, optimal play. F no! Grr. Fine. I'll go in fate. If we end up above, if we get a massive high roll, we change the guidance and we're never going in fate again. But watch me get scummed by this, okay? I'm going to get screwed. It's what always happens. He he peer pressure. Yes. Yes, it is. I folded. Why, why, and what? All right. Look at this. 10. And I, okay. There's a carry. There's an on Kiramaru. Right? Fine. That's 10. Right? And now I should get a sphere if we were in guidance. So if I don't get a sphere now, I'm going to be cross. See? Scammed. Scammed. It's all your fault. See? Now look, if I do 10, I'm not even going to get another one, which is exactly what would have happened in guidance. Oh, there's one. Cool. I've done 30 and I got one. Now I need to catch up just so I don't feel bad. This is FOMO. This is dangerous. Keep going while I'm... Ah. Right, 40. Here we go. Do I get another sphere? I do. Okay. That's not average. That's still kind of below average. Guys, I hate doing fate now. I've lost so many times to fate. Okay, could we stop now? Could we stop? Could we stop? Please, I've just got three and 50, okay? That's normal. That's normal for guidance. Can we, can we stop? Please. No! Please let me switch. Still average? I know, I know, I know. Stopping before a god roll? You think it's a god roll? Right, we'll do another 10. I'll get a sphere. It'll balance us out. And then we'll go back to guidance. This is terrible. Stay in fate. Great. 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 Sure. Sure. Look at this. What is this nonsense? I hate life. It looked no spheres. No, I got one. This is bad. See? See? Going guidance. It's bad. I'm coming back. What do you mean I'm coming back? How many have we even gotten at this point? Five in nine. Is that normal? Is that good? Five in 90 sounds bad. 
Shouldn't we get six in 90? Look, if this is going to balance itself out, I have to get two spheres in the next 10. Oh, come on! Ah! Right. No, no. S stop. Ridiculous. Six more? What, you think I'm going to get a sphere in six? Like, what What copium are you huffing? Oh, no. A divine spirit. Sure. And a Lutz. <sighs> so what did I get? Like, like six? I, I, I literally just lost half a million Stellas. So, folks, today has been a lesson. Go in guidance. Don't listen to your bozo chat that are like, oh, do it for the content. Sure, sure, content. Me losing my temper at the stream is content. Fantastic. Like, I've learned the hard way that fate is for idiots. Anyway, enough of all that nonsense. Let's go ahead and build some food and get some E5s. So we've gone and got ourselves a 10-star puppet from this, and we've got a 9-star puppet as well. We've also got ourselves an Abyss puppet, which is kind of cool. So we're going to let stuff in on the account. Very, very nice. So let's go ahead and tune this up. So our boy Tix, we should be able to build him to E5 now. So we'll use this 10 star and a Tix copy, which we're going to go and unlock. I think they're currently in something like Interdimensional Arena or something. They're hanging around, right? They, they exist. So we'll go ahead and pull those guys out and sort out the team. So we'll go into Tix and we'll drop a 10 star puppet and a Tix copy. There you go. Very nice. Uh, we can definitely get this Dragon Slayer up. We managed to save copies for him earlier, so we'll do this. I just need a 6-star, which... Actually, we got an Abyss 6-star, didn't we, just then? Yeah, so we'll go with Berea. So we'll put these two copies in. We'll put the 6-star in. And we put our 9-star puppet in there. That's a 10-star Berea, and that's 10-star food. So we'll go ahead and feed this guy to Tix to get him to E5. That is brilliant. So pop that there. Put in the Tix copy. And there you go. E5 Tix. Very Nice. The last few things we're going to be wanting, first of all, is to convert our spheres into stellars. That's very important. Get that in here. 8.5 mil now. Very nice. And we're also going to go ahead and hit up the Tower of Oblivion in the Tower of Dreams. And we need to do broken spaces because my monthly events are going to end in less than two days. So we need to see how far we can get in broken spaces, as that is the only remaining thing on my monthly carnival that you can see here. So let's start with Broken Spaces. Let's get this in here. Let's see how we do against the Corpse Demon and the Oberon with our lineup. We should absolutely dominate this. This is going to be extremely satisfying. So here we go, folks. Let's get this in. How much damage are we going to do to this? We're running Melodic Strings Eloise. I can already see we've done a decent chunk to Corpse Demon here. We don't even have a Drake on this account. This is still working really good. We might need to build a Drake in all fairness. I might be able to get a 9-star Drake in on here. I'm going to have to go check out Dark Food in a sec. Uh, do I have enough gold to level up ticks? Uh, we might be able to, yeah. It's not going to do much for his stats. The main thing we'll get from that is speed. Uh, but then again, I think it'll give him more tenant bonuses for the LOE, so that actually could do something. So that, that might not be a bad idea. Uh, either way, we're absolutely doing a ton of damage here. Let's see where that takes us. So that's going to be 16 billion? That's good. We haven't seen that kind of damage number before from Eloise in this kind of wave. So that's good. We will level up the ticks. So let's go ahead and throw this on him. And yeah, we do not have enough spirit. Ugh. That's unfortunate. So we will get more of that by doing broken spaces. So let's carry on. Wow, 20% there. That's already really good. So we'll use our preset lineup here, the standard lineup, and that should absolutely beat that in a few taps. Yeah, that was completely fine. And stage seven, here we go. This is Ada Amon Ra. Very curious how this one's going to go down. I don't know. Should be fun. I think it's going to take us maybe six attempts here. Also, we might get screwed by the Ada removing our healing abilities, which could be very irritating. As that is one thing Ada can do. She prevents you from healing. I keep saying Amon Ra instead of Aspen. Do I? Oh, well. It's Ada Aspen. Yeah, happy now? <laughs> uh. Amon Ra would be super annoying in broken spaces. Yeah, could you imagine? <laughs> the bubbles. Oh my word, you do no damage, man. Yeah. After seeing what the Forkis and Vulcan wave can do, I'm kind of glad we don't have to fight Amon Ra. Uh, but yeah, that's already sick damage, man. We're on 10 rounds. We put a decent chunk into them. Yeah, this is looking really, really good. Like, Eloise is not like traditionally a broken spaces hero, so 
She's doing kind of nice here. Because Eloise does better the more opponents there are, because the more counterattacks she gets. So, what have we got now? A good sizable chunk out. I think we've doing about 15% damage here. Seems nice. Should get an active skill here from Eloise as well. Yeah, yeah, good damage, man. Really good damage. So let's go see what this totals up to, guys. Uh, that's, yeah, 18.7. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Right, should we build the new artifact and see what that's going to do? Because we do have the artifact chests in the bag to grab that thing. So we got four of these boys up here. That's going to be the auspicious lucky cat. Absolutely, we've got to go for that thing. It's a sick artifact. Really cool artifact. So it would be wrong not to grab this. Eloise absolutely has to wear the auspicious lucky cat. This is insane on Eloise. She'll turn into an absolute giga chat. It's crown mixed with melodic strings mixed with Augustus magic ball. There is nothing this hero can't do now, which means I can go ahead and give our auspicious lucky cat to Eloise. Beautiful. Right, let's go send that back into broken spaces and see what that does now. I bet you she'll do way more damage now. This auspicious lucky cat is going to scale like mad. I wonder what the animation for this is as well. Is there one? Add a tribute reduction purify. Yeah, that would help against the anti-heal, but I think we're fine against the anti-heal anyway. Don't worry too much. Yeah, we're completely okay. Now, I reckon this is going to be way more damage than it was last time. Like, way more damage. Because last time we got, like, what, 16 mil? So let's see if that's consistent here. I, I, it already looks way more. Oh, 16 billion, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my goodness me. This is way more damage. Because this thing's like Antler's Cane. It just ramps and ramps and ramps and ramps. Which is mad. This artifact, jeez, they're on half health almost. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, this is really silly. This is so, so silly. 29.9. That's a switch from melodic strings to this. Wow, it's Golden Crown, Antlers Cane, and Augustus Magic Ball all in one. That's ridiculous. I love this thing. This item, genuinely unbelievable. I think we're going to have to get a lot of these. <laughs> I, I genuinely do. That's a very good artifact. It's a very, very, very good artifact. Oh my goodness. I think... Let's see if we go again. Can we get more? Are we going to get 30 billion this time? Oh, 29.1. At least we're consistent. And that's down to 23%. So it means we're getting it now in this final hit. Absolutely stupid. There you go. Victory. 24 bill. Eloise. You Chad. Could you do stage 8? Really? Let's find out. Let's see. She should live. It's whether the damage is big enough. Like survival's here, right? And energy feed doesn't matter. The only thing that's bad here is if we get sealed by Tara, but we have control purify, so that's not going to be a problem. So damage here, okay, 9.9. .9. That, that's, ooh, that's low. That's 2%. I might still be able to do this. We're going to smash? I think it's going to use like 50 tickets and I'm okay with that. That used a lot more than that. Okay, that was more like 70 tickets. Okay, I think we stop. <laughs> That's... <laughs> okay, I'm tapping out. I, I'm going to wait until we get Drake on here. We're going to build Drake. And I'm going to neck myself. Because I didn't build Drake first. But we will test once. Just to see how well we do when we add Drake to the mix. So, 9-star Drake. Put in the level 100. 
put in these two, and then we put in our two six star dummies that we got for making carry to ten star. And now we put in our food one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's fantastic. Nine star Drake built and made. Welcome to the account. So with that, I can probably level this guy up. And I've got a lot of spirit and gold. Oh, perfect. Okay, we've put Drake in here now. Let's see what this is actually going to do. We might just get torn to shreds. Granted, a Drake on the opposing team is also going to cause us a spot of bother. So we might just die. Then again, we might not. We do have a tax deal from Heartwatcher and from Tick, so that could actually work out really nice. So you never know. It could be really good. So we'll just go ahead and hopefully shred them to pieces. As we do have defense down on the enemy Drake there, which is nice. Oh, they've got defense down on our wall deck. This boy needs healing. Oh, but then Ignis is going to heal him. Oh, but then... But then Russell's active. That's going to murk us, right? Wait. Minus one? That's the attack steal. Oh my word. Yes, bro. And we get tons of defenses anyway from the cat, which is basically giving everyone Augustus Magic Ball. Nice. But then again, defense down from Drake is going to try and neg that. But if we can get enough attack steal on this Russell... <laughs> He's going to still do minus one. He is. Yo. Eat that. Attack steal too strong. Heart watcher and ticks showing this bozo that he ain't going to ping us much. Okay. Now we're going to get hurt. Yeah. Okay. It took him long though. Round eight. Nice. How much damage is this going to be then? If I had a Delacium, that would be even better. 19 billion? Wait, what percent is that? Two? Whoa. Hang on. Hi. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Woo. Let's go again. I don't think it's quite two percent. We're going to skip. 11, so it's lower that time. Okay, the idea of putting carry in instead of Waldeck I like, but then we lose Waldeck's buffs. I'll, I'll give it a try. We'll see if that changes anything, because then we take less active skills, right? So it's not necessarily a bad thing. The idea here is that Drake will actually survive now, because we can steal energy from the Russell. Which means he's going to do less actives, which means we have more time to go ahead and debuff him. So in theory, it's nice. Like this hit here, minus ones, because we got a lot of debuffs onto him. So that's good. Now, let's see if Carrie gets the energy steal this time. She didn't. That's unfortunate. So now Russell's... Ah, Russell's basic still does arrows. So it's, it's not perfect. It really isn't. 13, Bill. It's around the same. And I think we lose the ceiling as well because of Waldeck not being present. I'll do a few more attempts just to see what's more consistent, Carrie or Waldeck. That's 11, Bill. 12 and a half bill, 11 bill. Okay, yeah, so we're getting lower end stuff. So let's go try putting that wall deck and see if we get some more of those high end fights. One more time with wall deck. So let's see what happens. Okay, that's better. That's 16. Because you got to remember the wall deck is buffing the attack of Eloise and heals people, which is kind of cool. 17.6. Like, the, yeah, wall deck feels much more consistent. 22. Nice. Yo, we might actually have this. Let's put it in with that wall deck lineup and see if we beat this. 19%? Yo, I'm... I am... You know what? Cool. I'm spending a thousand gems. Let's see what happens. A thousand gems. Oh, okay. Our attempts are going to be worse now because there is only Russell left. Yep. Yep. That's a bit of an issue. Because there's now only one opponent instead of two. Yeah, and all of Eloise's abilities hit more than one. That said, though, we're able to put way more debuffs onto the Russell. So that's still a good thing. We're more consistent with our debuffs. So this is still going to be high, but it's not super high. Yeah, it's 11 bill. That's still nice, though. So I think we smash, and we get this beat. 1%, bro, really? Okay. Okay. Still 1%? Go home, Russell. Go home, bro. There it is. 
Oh, man. Absolutely wild. It took us about 25 final attacks there. Still nice, though. Still really nice. Stage 10, go home. Stop it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. Uh, 1,200 gems, though, for all that stuff is, is actually kind of sweet. So Broken Space is 9, dude. I did not expect that to be on the cards today. Let's go try Tower of Oblivion. I think with Depth 3 now here, it's going to be really, really good. So we just got to make sure we got a good preset lineup set up. And our up heroes are going to be Bell Rain and Annabelle. Now, I'm pretty certain I might have a Bell Rain on this account. I do. Yeah. So we can chuck Bell Rain in. And Annabelle is actually already level 100. She's kind of a good hero. So preset lineup three is where I just throw these teams together. So what we'll do is I think we keep Carrie, we keep Ticks, we keep Ignis, we keep Eloise. And we're actually going to put in the heroes to use today which are going to help us here. We might not even run Ignis, actually. I'm going to put Waldeck in. I think Waldeck is just better. So we'll go with that, and then we'll add our up heroes, which are going to be Annabelle, and we'll add Belrain. So let's get both of those on board to maximize our rewards. There's Belrain. Perfect. We'll put the cat onto Eloise, because it is absolutely ridiculous, and I should be fine with everyone else. So let's go send this in. Let's see what happens here. I think we're still going to be completely fine. Let's watch it. Okay, a lot of damage coming there from the opponents, but not on the heroes that matter. So, already feeling pretty confident about this. We're not blocking as much, because Penny has insane amounts of precision. Uh, but ah, now we're starting to do something. That's fun. Okay. Oh, Eloise with the heals. Nice. Goodness me! Penny, stop. Stop being so precise. <laughs> but... Honestly, I think Eloise is kind of unkillable with the new artifact. Look, minus ones. That's so stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone basically gets Augustus Magic Ball for free with this new artifact. Oh, it's so good. Yep, we're fine. That is so, so satisfying. Really nice. Let's see if we can just zoom through this. I'm really curious how the nightmare waves are going to go. Either way... As always, guys, we are breezing through this for this weekend. Depth 3 is getting schooled. Nice. Very nice. Mate. <laughs> what an artifact! We haven't lost a fight yet! This is ridiculous. It's... Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. This wave's gonna take a few. Yeah. That's a nasty wave, that one. A lot of CC, a lot of disruption. Okay, defeated by Sherlock's. Okay, I'm not going to make you watch Gusting, guys. That is that is not an experience anyone wants to witness. That's just going to take way too long. And there you go, four Drakes, and we still win. Okay, here we go. The ones we want to watch now, the Nightmare Wave fights. Let's see what goes down here. Here we go. And if there's only her alive, she gets all the ingots? I think so, yeah. Yeah, which is maybe a reason to just run her on her own, but obviously we want all the up heroes. Um, but... It might not work like that. It says ally, so it might not include herself. I'm not sure. And there's no graphic to verify, yeah, which is a little irritating, so we can't see the stacks. Um, either way, we are mincing this. Oh my word. Eloise! This is Depth 3! Oh, she's so strong. Oh, that is... That is beautiful. Do you think she could do Vanquisher? <laughs> There's no way, right? There's no way. Garuda will kill us. Uh, either way, this next one is Amon Ra, Sherlock, and Jara. This would be kind of cool. Let's see what happens. Already, counterattacks are pretty solid here. A lot of damage coming out. Yeah, she's ridiculous. I can't believe they'd release this artifact. It's actually broken. <laughs> Every single ability you want, it gives. Oh, so sexy. Are we going to use the treasure train tickets? Nah, I need to wait for the monthly stuff to reset. So we'll have to wait until December. Because I've already maxed my treasure train openings for this month. Alright guys, look, this Sherlock, these two Amon Ra's, they're all that's left. I mean, the healing curse is definitely hurting. <sighs> oh, but it didn't matter! Eloise put enough damage out there, but sheesh, healing curse is no joke. M maybe Vanquisher isn't winnable, but still, that was crazy. That was really crazy. Yeah, Tix clutched up. Dang, he did. Right, what have we got here? Aspidel the Dauntless 
Andrea, Ignis, Fiona. Okay, cool. Lots of support here. I like that. That said, though, I think I think Eloise is already tanked up. Oh, this is so stupid. Look, minus one million. Dude, she's taking hardly anything. And even the lower stage attacks, they're actually just doing minus one to us. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. The way she's tanking everything. What a hero. She's insane. All those counterattacks should really rip them to pieces. Oh my word, look how quickly that Asmodel the Dauntless's health went down. Both of them, slot one and slot two. This is nuts. I think we just swing back and we beat them, right? They are healing, which is a bit of a pain. But I still think we're fine here. Yep, we are left now just with Asmodel, who is going to get rinsed. Yeah, end of round damage is going to get him. Oh, nearly. There's the kill. Very nice. Round eight. Lots of healing from that one as well. That was interesting. So we're going to have to rip out all these heroes. We're going to put our up heroes in. And it's just going to be, I think, yeah, Tix, Eloise, and the up heroes. This should be fine. This should be completely fine. So I think we could just tank everything. A lot of annoying heroes here. Scarlet Queen, Holoris, Pingbacks. But I think we're fine. I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. Morax is active could be annoying. This is like traditionally an annoying wave. I remember getting stuck on this one because Morax and Garuda both have hideous active skills. So, yeah, I'm curious how this one plays out. And you say Nightmare 1 will be the hard one as that only gives us six rounds. If that's the case, we just switch to Melodic Strings for more damage. And I think we'll be okay. Wait, can you do two depths at a time? Oh, wow. Yeah, we are getting in this one. That's round three. Oh, my goodness. Eloise is just eating everything. Holy crap. What? She tanked the whole thing from Garuda? <laughs> oh, my word. Okay, here we go. Nightmare one. This is madness. She is such a chad. Everything is getting tanked here. I can't believe this. This artifact is like the perfect thing for Eloise. It's unreal. And train? Yeah, train helps, obviously. But the HP stat's already massive. The attack stat's huge. But it's, it's this artifact that's making us have so much survivability on an already ridiculous frame because of the treasure train. Like, these two things together are ridiculous. And you've got to remember, she has damage reduction... Um, in some shape or form from being an A tier. It's against damage over time. And that gives her an extra bit of tankiness. And she's got Divine Block as well, right? So there's lots of abilities she has that really help here. Now, let's see if we can beat this. Like, we need Ticks to clutch up. These carries resurrecting is very unfun in a game mode where <laughs> the enemies are going to ruin us. Oh, no. Wait, what? Wait, has it glitched? I suppose if you kill the carries, it doesn't count? Huh? Maybe they all have an ability that says if it's round six, you die because you kill the carries, they lose that ability? I think that might be how it's coded. That's weird. I'll take that. That's a full clear. Nice. So there's our rewards. We'll claim all that. Thank you very much. And next week... We go do depth four. Very nice. Well, with all that stuff, we've seen Eloise perform brilliantly today. I'm so happy with what we've been able to do. And that new artifact is absolutely wild. She's now on 2.53 million attack. And I hope we can get attack attack on here so that she'll not just be a good tenant, but really benefit from these protective buffs given to us by the lucky cat so yeah really chuffed with how this has played out and i think we're going to see more and more and more from this eloise she just does not stop heck we might even find that she's able to do vanquisher when that goes ahead and we give that another try so this has been really really cool now some of you are saying should i open the treasure train but no i'm going to save this stuff because if you look there's 
150 things already completed, so I'm going to wait until this timer restarts and something good comes up, so we max that then. And the stuff we got from the tower, yeah, we might as well open those things, mightn't we? Just these five here, just pull those onto the account. And there's a few more of those small things lying around, but really these don't give too much, so we don't need to worry a lot about that. Either way, guys, absolutely fantastic. And if you want to catch more of this account, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button because more of this content is coming. We are not stopping. We are not slowing down. We are absolutely blasting through. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. And let me know in the comments section how Black Friday has treated you. Did you get an A tier? I heard a lot of people did. That's pretty cool. But I'm saving my stones until there's a gala. So that's another reason for you to subscribe to see how that one goes. Anyway, I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And of course, have a great week and happy idling.